Just the thought of retirement probably makes you smile. I know it makes me smile, but what is the magic number? How much money do I need to save before I can feel really good about my retirement? Marcus Warren is here once again from Warren Wealth Management. He is very knowledgeable when it comes to retirement, what the needs, what you need to look out for, what you need to be aware of going into retirement. Marcus, welcome back. Thank you. Man, you are an expert. Let, let's talk about the fact before we get into the topic today, and I love the topic. Yeah. Let's, let's talk a little bit about the fact that you cover both the tax side of it yeah. and the wealth management side of it, and that's important. Yeah, it, it's very important because, you know, one, one of the, the, the biggest gaps that, that we saw when I just focused on investment management was uh, the tax planning side because as people transition to retirement, um, people are generally just focused on investments when really uh, taxes become a, a big part of retirement. And so what we decided to do was basically bring all that in-house so we could add more value to our current clients. That's, I think, I, you know, if you can go if you can go to one office and talk to Marcus Warren, why be hopping all over town trying to talk to an expert in each individual field when he can cover it all? Okay, today's, I like the topic today. Today's topic is what is that magic number? I think everyone knows, would like to know, yes. what, how much money do I need? What is my number before I can feel good about retirement? So give it to me. What's the magic number? Yeah, fortunately, there's <laughs> no magic number, right? It, you know, it, it, it really depends. I mean, most people who are working eventually want to get to retirement, and uh, they all have that nest egg that they're building up. However, what is that number? Is it accumulating a million dollars? Is it three million dollars? Is it just five hundred thousand dollars? You know, and that really differs based on each individual person's specific situation. So, no magic number. Sorry, John. None. So, it, it, I, yeah, I think a lot of that depends on each individual. Like, what what kind of lifestyle do you expect? You are you going to be someone who can afford to travel the world? Do you just want to yep. stay close to your grandkids? Uh, do you want to keep that lake home? Uh, a couple of cars in the garage, that kind exactly. of thing. But there's something that is universal, and that is the things you have to be concerned about. One of them you just mentioned, taxes, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and so when, when you're looking to make that transition from working to retirement, or if you're already retired, when you think about that, that number, it, it really, retirement is about this. Retirement is about two things. It's about income versus expenses. What do you have coming in versus what you have going out? That's basically the function of really most things, businesses, whatever, retirement. And so um, when you uh, start to formulate your plan for retirement, let's take, uh, let's take expenses for, for, for instance. So you have your expenses and the one thing you have to do uh, to make sure you have all of your expenses lined up is you have to create, I'm gonna say it, on live TV, you have to create a budget, right? People hate that word, budget. <laughs> oh, no, not a I budget, don't like not the a sound budget. Of yeah. right. <laughs> but you have to create a budget. And so you have to look at your current expenses. If you're retired, look at your retirement expenses and have that baseline, have that, what am I spending on food entertainment? What am I spending on travel, utilities, phone, all of that stuff. So you have that baseline uh, budget for your expenses. Then you need to ask yourself a few other questions as you go through retirement. Number one, are your kids going to uh, need help once you're retired? And what I, what I mean by that is your family, things of that nature, are they going to need help once you're retired? We're talking about college, uh, graduate school. Uh, are they going to uh, need to borrow money for a down payment on a house or a car? Um, uh, weddings, right? Weddings, I have, I have four kids, I have two girls, I already know that probably down the line, I'm going to have to pay for some type of wedding, uh, you know, unfortunately. Get ready. Unfortunately, unfortunately. <laughs> depends on the guy. I don't know. Anyway, um, so, so that's something you, you have to consider. Second, second thing you have to consider is how are you and your spouse's health? Are you all okay? Do you have a, a family history of medical uh, emergencies or, or, or high expenses in retirement? I've said this before on the show, I'll say it again. The average couple, age 65, can expect to spend upwards of $300,000 in health care alone over the course of their retirement. That's average. That's average, and that is with Medicare. So even if you have Medicare, you can expect to be spending money. And if you have um, any kind of health issues, then you can expect to spend more. So that's an issue. The third thing you need to think about is debt. Are you going into retirement with debt? Because that can be an expense. Credit card debt, if you, if you have a mortgage, uh, student loan debt, all of that stuff is, is right there. So you have to make sure that you uh, account for any debt that you're going into in retirement. Uh, the next thing is uh, elderly parents. If you have uh, elderly parents that uh, probably don't have uh, health care, not health care, but long-term care, 
are you going to have to provide physical or financial assistance for them? That can be at added expense. And then lastly, uh, you said it, I say it all the time, you have taxes, right? You're still gonna be paying uh, taxes on your income because you're gonna want income in retirement. You got property taxes, real estate taxes, uh, sales tax, all of those different taxes are going to be there in retirement. And so you have to look at that ledger and look at your expenses and then see if you have that income to handle all those expenses in retirement. But what's great about Warren Wealth Management is there are strategies to ensure that you have more money than perhaps you thought. When, I'm a question for you. When people come into a meeting with you and they lay everything out and show you what they have and all that, yeah. do they usually walk away feeling better about retirement? Or is it, is it the opposite? They go, oh, I thought I was close. Well, it's, <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's a combination of both. Okay. And, you know, uh, uh, initially we want to be as transparent as, as, and as upfront with, with clients as possible and say, hey, this is where you are, um, this is where you want to be, and you're not there yet. You know, and so, of course, they are, you know, heads down thinking, you know, what am I going to do, right? But then what we do and what we pride ourselves on is we offer solutions and ways that we can bridge that gap to get them from where they are to where they want to be. And so they end up walking out with peace of mind, uh, their direction. Um, yes, direction. And, and, and that's basically what people want once they make that transition from working to retirement. They want some sort of direction knowing that things are going to be okay. All right, I love this. Okay, so let's talk about a 15 minute phone call. If someone would like to talk to you and, and get a little 15 minute assessment and yep. then maybe set up an appointment if they'd like, how does that work? Well, basically, you can go to talktomarcus.com. That pulls up my calendar, and I have allotted some, some slots for that 15 minute phone call. And it's just like I said, um, if you're close to retirement, uh, in retirement, um, and you're not sure you know, where you are or even where you want to be, that 15 minute phone call is worth it. Give us a call. We can give you some peace of mind. You're, you're going to love hearing about my next guest, Marcus, okay? Yeah. Catholic Education Foundation. No, oh, yeah. You were telling me that your children <laughs> are going through the Catholic school system. You're very happy with it. Yes. So, yes. It, but it's not exactly inexpensive. That's fair, it's right? It's not. I, it's <laughs> not. I had, you know, I have, I have four. Uh, I have one that made it through Sacred Heart. I have one in, in his last year in, in Trinity. And then I still have two, one in seventh, one in fifth grade. They still have a ways to go, but uh, I've gotten couple of kids yeah, off the but you but you're happy with the Catholic road. education oh, aren't you they, oh thrilled see yeah fantastic love that so fantastic. maybe you're thinking about a Catholic education but you're saying I don't know if I can afford it well you've got some help and that's the Catholic Education Foundation